Our mission is to put down the rebel army which has captured the scientific weapon Walkure. In five minutes, we will be passing over our dropping point. Get ready for descent. Top, call off your mission. Bowie, the Zods! Hansen? What happened? A high voltage energy wave is approaching us! Take care of Momoko. Colonel? Don't dally. Go! Verda! Ah! Uh. Where am I? So, only six of us survived. Oh! Oh! Here come the rebel army soldiers. There's no damage on the weapons. Let me show them some fancy action now.
Colonel Bowie, it's been a long time. I never thought I'd see you in such a way. Whatever made you want to revolt? Revolt? My orders were to put down the rebel army. Bomber, I thought you were the one who revolted. I guess I ended up with the Joker again. It seems we've been taken in. You mean someone invented a story that my troop was revolting? It was the same way in the final zone operation. Someone's trying to get you. Me? Who? Who knows? But you are an able officer. There might be people who would hate you just for being so good. What are you saying? I'm just a soldier. I've never done anything to make enemies. You would say that. My eyes are failing. I'll be happy to die by your hand. I can see the Joker laughing. Bomber. This isn't Colonel Bowie either. There's only one more survivor. I hope that's the Colonel. Ah! Damn you! Bastards of the Confederate forces! Your ID? Wait! Don't let him pass! Arrest him! Don't let him get away! Bowie? 
Wait for me. Why? Why do you have to go away? Why can't you stay here with me? Don't force me to repeat myself. Is your mission so important? We haven't talked seriously for months now. Why won't you quit your war games? Sorry, this happens to be my hobby. You're just being manipulated by those scums. I've had enough of war. Why don't you stop fighting? Someday, you'll end up like my brother. <coughs> Bowie. Look. These are naps. They had all of these hidden here. <laughs> I never thought I'd be putting on one of these things. Momoko, don't worry about Bowie. I'm not worried about him. Who says I'm worried about him? He still thinks I blame him for my brother's death. What a fool. So, you don't know then. What don't I know? Momoko, your brother, Colonel Verda, is still alive. He is? Really? That's right. But we've got to get going. Hurry, put that on.
Colonel Bowie! You're alive and well. I'm glad. Major Hanna, are you the only one who survived? All the others are dead. Did you hear the message right before the explosion? That was Randy Henson who used to work for me. He said something like Zods. It's a secret organization of the Confederate forces. Their mission is to develop new types of weapons. They're the ones who invented NAP. Hansen probably found out something because he was assigned to a unit under their direct orders. Colonel, what are you going to do now? The mission may have been a trap, but it seems certain that there are actually some new weapons. So we should go there? Let's hurry. Bowie? Doesn't that nap look familiar to you? All of my men are supposed to be dead. He probably took it from one of them. Be on guard. You're still alive, Bowie? I thought I was lucky. But you must have nine lives. That voice. Could it be Colonel Verda? It's not possible. I still can't believe it. I thought you died in the final zone operation. I was assigned to a classified investigation unit, and because of the nature of my mission, I had to make people believe that I was dead. What's a member of the investigation unit doing here? I found out about the Zod's plot. Bowie, do you know Aleph Ruman? Aleph Ruman? Where have I heard that name before? He's an engineer, and a genius at that. He's the one who's in charge of the Zods. It seems that he was also involved in the final zone operation. Aleph Ruman. I know. It was a long time ago. Government leaders and top military men were invited to attend a public test for a new weapon, a laser cannon. The new weapon had proved itself even better than expected in a sham battle, but the developer was quite satisfied with his work. And there was an incident right before the end of the test. An incident? Oh. 
A lowly corporal succeeded in destroying this new weapon. Having been disgraced and taken off the weapons development project, the developer hated this corporal enough to want to kill him. So I guess that corporal long ago was Bowie and the developer Aleph Ruman. Verda, you're late. I was getting tired of waiting. You have a nice outfit on. Is it new? Do you want to trade it for my old one? Verda! Hi, Momoko. You came along too? Why didn't you tell us? Do you know how much we suffered because of what happened to you? Hanson, why are you here? And Momoko too. I thought you'd send me away if I came alone. Bowie, I see you got caught up in the Zod's game. What kind of a weapon is it? It's an apparatus for producing bioweapons. It was developed to fight against naps. Against naps? You mean we're being manipulated by weapons that they have made? From the outside, this may look to you like an ordinary control tower, but in actuality, it's a breeding plant for bioweapons. There are hundreds of bio-monsters ahead of us. I don't particularly like the sound of these monsters. That's too bad. But don't worry. There are more than just bio-monsters. The guy who tricked us is hiding somewhere. You mean Aleph Ruman? Well, that's more interesting. I've wanted to see what that dirty old man looks like. Ruman? Colonel Bowie, it's your turn now. I'm sorry. I led you into this. We like doing this. We're even grateful to you. Aren't we, Hanson? That's right. Come on. Let's get even with this guy.
you are a contemptible man, through and through. None of you would ever understand the suffering I had to go through. I, who was called a genius scientist, I sacrificed my life to create all these works of art. And Bowie, you spoiled it all with your sordid hands. You're the one with the corrupt mind. You're all bloodthirsty beasts. All of you, like him, will have to pay dearly for insulting a great genius. Isn't that so? Do you want to kill me that Badly. My hands might be stained with blood, as you say. Rumen, if you hate me so much, shoot me with your gun. What's the matter? Are you that afraid to kill me? Ha! Huh. You're a fool, Bowie. Don't take me for a senile man. You might be a trained soldier, but at this close distance, you won't be able to escape my bullet. You should be begging for your life. You should have shot me in the beginning. You might have a brilliant brain, but otherwise you're a wicked murderer. Nothing more, and nothing less. This is it, Bowie. You should be thankful that you could pose as a hero to the very end of your life. That's what you should have done in the beginning.